Barcelona have done it. They have beaten Real Madrid in their own backyard to increase the gap at the top of the league between the two Spanish giants in what was a huge game in La Liga. Nearly 50 goals in 14 matches for Barcelona this season and only recording two losses. The golden boy Lamine Yamal has six goals and eight assists in the league and Champions League so far and he has evidently continued his superstar reputation from last season and of course winning the Euros with Spain. So far, he already has produced great numbers and is a Barca legend in the making for sure. And don't forget, he's only 17. No wonder he was just awarded the Copper Trophy for Best Young Player of the Year at the Ballon d'Or. Robert Lewandowski, one of the best strikers of his generation, has 21 goals and two assists during these same games. The numbers don't lie. Barcelona have been in top form this season and their best player so far is Rafinha. The Brazilian wonder has been in great form since the start of the season. In the last few years, Barcelona have been attempting to replace the famous MSN, arguably the greatest front three ever, and they may be on their way to at least replace one, as Xavi has even compared Rafinha to Neymar. I think he's different from other players, Xavi said. He's more of a natural winger. He's perhaps like Neymar, but he can shoot like Rivaldo. To the surprise of many, Barcelona are not playing around this season. They're currently in their best form in years. Not even when they had Lionel Messi were they this good at the start of a season. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but they have really been good. Beating Real Madrid 4-0 at the Bernabeu in La Liga match day 11 just proves how extraordinary Barca have been. The beauty of the win is not just the three points, which moved Barcelona six points clear of Real Madrid on the league table, but that Madrid were on the brink of equaling the Barcelona 2018 record of 43 matches unbeaten in a run before they were defeated by Barca. With the loss, Barcelona put an end to Real Madrid's 42-match unbeaten run in the league and they also proved that they were capable of going head-to-head -head with the new Galacticos of Madrid. So what happened? What led to the change in Barcelona? The answer is Hansi Flick. Since Flick joined Barcelona, everything has changed. On the 29th of May 2024, Barcelona announced Hansi Flick, the former German national team manager and former Bayern Munich manager, as the new manager of the club, who will lead the club in the 24-25 season. Now, without doubt, Flick is one of the best managers in Europe. He's well known for his team's high-pressing, intense and daring style of play. High-pressing is the most exceptional part of his play. It led to the 8-2 defeat of Barcelona in the Champions League when he was the Munich manager. And it has been causing havoc for opponents since Flick implemented the system in Barca. When Flick came in, he made his intentions clear. Here, the tradition is to play with passing, but I also want them to go straight to the goal. They should focus a bit more on scoring, Flick told Barca 1 after his appointment. This decision to go straight to the goal has helped in improving Barcelona's attackers, especially Rafinha. Evidently, Barcelona under Flick still play like the old Barcelona, but now they go straight to the goal, Flicky Flacca. 47 goals in 14 matches is evidence of this. Also, the short passes that Barcelona have become known for have been reduced and long passes have taken over. In countless matches this season, Barcelona have punished their opponents with long passes. Madrid and Bayern Munich, just two of the teams so punished. The highlights of these two matches are long balls to Rafinha and Lewandowski, which were properly converted. Barcelona have scored 47 goals this season, but that isn't the most incredible thing about them. It's the high line they play that's so amazing. So far this season, Barca have drawn offside more than double any other team in Europe's top five leagues. They have drawn the offside 77 times. Against Real Madrid, Hansi Flick's Barca side drew Madrid offside eight times in the first half of El Clasico and four times in the second, 12 total in the game. 
Madrid star Kylian Mbappe had a total of eight offsides in the game, a career high. Having the bravery to keep a high line against a Real Madrid team which has had three of the favourites to win the Ballon d'Or all year, Vinicius, one of the fastest footballers in the world, and to be fair, the next man won't be too far behind him in that ranking either, and of course, English wonder kid Jude Bellingham. It's incredible to have the courage to have the defensive line so high, explained Casado about the German coach's decision to maintain his ideals despite the fact that the rival to beat was a team that has two of the fastest footballers on the planet in attack. Real Madrid are the ones who've been making the headlines the last few months with their signing of Mbappe to complete their legendary squad that's filled with star-studded names. And as a result of this, the other Spanish giant has seemingly been going under the radar. Evidently, Barcelona is currently the best team in Europe and their best player so far is Rafinha. Without a doubt, the player that has benefited the most from Hansi Flick's tactic is Rafinha. The rejected horse has now become the favourite. Many see him as the best player in La Liga right now. What stands out for Rafinha is his attitude towards every game. I have never had a player like Rafinha in any of my teams. He gives his all. Rafinha puts his heart into it. With and without the ball, he's very good. He always starts the pressing and finishes our chances. He is always smiling, said Hansi Flick. It's very funny how stories change. A few months ago, Barcelona fans were saying that they wanted Rafinha out. Even the board placed him on the transfer list. And yet today, Rafinha is their best player. With 10 goals and 8 assists, Rafinha currently has the second highest goal contributions for Barcelona. The Brazilian is the team's second highest goal scorer and has provided the most assists. Every team needs its superstars, but you also need your squad players. And Barca's squad depth is very underrated too, with their youngsters like Pau Cubasi, Fermin Lopez and Sufati, along with some more experienced squad players, are sharing the minutes when needed, which is key to the longevity of a season. For Rafinha, the hints from the fans who wanted him out at the start of the season are what drives him. In the summer, Rafinha called out disrespectful fans after the Iñaki Williams transfer saga, with the informed Barcelona winger now working at 200% under Hansi Flick. Rafinha spoke about seeing negative things on social media as fans were holding up Barcelona shirts with Rafinha's number on but with Iñaki Williams' name on the back who was rumoured to replace him. This didn't sit well with the player. I think it was disrespectful, he said in the press conference ahead of the Bayern game. It did not sit right with me and the work I do here. But in the end, people can do whatever they want, he added. Rafinha is having a great season, and this might be part of the reason why. Some believe if he continues at this rate, he might even get close to Neymar's legacy at Barcelona, which, to be fair, might be a bit of a stretch. How much of a legend could he become at Barcelona? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Born on 14th December 1996, Rafael Diaz Spilolli, better known as Rafinha, joined Barcelona from Leeds United for a reported fee of £50 million in 2022. The Brazilian kicked off in good condition in his first season, the 22-23 season, scoring 10 goals and providing 12 assists in 50 appearances, and he was instrumental in Barcelona's league win that season. Although in his second season, Rafinha was equally good. He had 23 goal contributions in 37 games. It was a disappointing season for Barcelona as they went trophyless. And this led to many fans requesting the sale of the Brazilian. Well, all those fans are now eating their words. So far this season, Rafinha has been the most instrumental player for Hansi Flick. He's equaled his highest number of goals in the previous two seasons in just 14 matches this season. But what changed? The mindset with which I started this season is different compared to past seasons, said Rafinha. The confidence and trust that my coach and teammates have put in me is very important for me. Being Barca captain is also special. This confidence 
has been a huge boost to his game. Rafinha is no longer scared to shoot or showcase his creativity. A minute into the game against Bayern, Rafinha trusted himself enough to round legendary goalkeeper Manuel Neuer before slotting into an empty net. Hansi Flick has created a new version of Rafinha, and that has benefited the whole team. Rafinha, the La Liga MVP for August, has won many games for Barcelona this season. Hansi Flick has successfully brought out the beast in Rafinha. A player who was notorious for missing chances has now become the most clutch player in the team. This he showed in the masterclass displays against Bayern Munich and also against Real Madrid in El Clasico. Under Flick, Rafinha has played either as a number 10 behind Lewandowski or as a left winger. Now, these roles would have seemed an odd fit when he joined from Leeds United in 2021, but they have helped him register nearly 20 goal involvements in only 14 games so far this season. In the first three matches of the season, Rafinha was relatively silent, recording just one assist. But since the hat-trick against Real Valladolid, he has become a totally different player. So far this season, the Brazilian has scored two hat-tricks, including a hat-trick against Bayern Munich, a game that has arguably been his best at Barcelona. Was this my best game at Barcelona? One of my best. The best is yet to come, he said, after he was awarded Man of the Match against Munich. As Rafinha said, his best is yet to come. But one thing is sure. Against Real Madrid, he proved this statement by being instrumental once again. If Rafinha and other Barcelona players continue playing at this level, Barcelona might just win it all very soon. Although Barcelona started the season on a high note, winning their first five games, scoring 17 goals, they still flew under the radar. It was said that they could only do it against small teams. But after the wins against Bayern and Madrid, it's clear that they are ready to beat anybody. When we were winning at the beginning of the league, it was said that they were mid-table rivals, but now we have beaten two of the best teams in the world in one week. We have shown, both with Bayern and Madrid, that we are ready for anything, said Lamine Yamal, leaving a strong message on the way back to Barcelona after the victory against Real Madrid. The scary thing about this team is not what they have done, but what they are capable of doing. To think, Barcelona are currently one of the best teams in Europe, while a good number of their top players are still injured, is simply worrying. What will this team do when they are complete? Ronald Araujo, Fermin Lopez, Christensen and Ter Stegen are all out injured, with Ansu Fati, De Jong and Gavi just getting back into the team after their injuries. So it's expected that the majority of these players will be back before the end of October. By then, Hansi Flick and FC Barcelona will be unstoppable when he has his full squad.